Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Deaconess Elizabeth, and it is Tuesday, June the 7th, and I'm here again for your daily devotions. Today, we are picking up where we left off. We are in Luke, the 22nd chapter, starting at the 24th verse. So if you'd like to follow along, you may turn there now. A dispute also arose among them as to which of them was to be regarded as the greatest, and he said to them, The kings of the Gentiles exercise lordship over them, and those in authority over them are called benefactors. But not so with you. Rather, let the greatest among you become as the youngest, and the, and the leader as one who serves. For who is the greater, one who reclines at table or one who serves? Is it not the one who reclines at table? But I am among you as the one who serves. You are those who have stayed with me in my trials, and I assign to you as my father assigned to me a kingdom, that you may eat and drink at my table in my kingdom and sit on thrones judging the twelve tribes of Israel. Simon, Simon, behold, Satan demanded to have you that he might sift you like wheat, but I have prayed for you that your faith may not fail. And when you have turned again, strengthen your brothers. Peter said to him, Lord, I am ready to go with you both to prison and to death. Jesus said, I tell you, Peter, the rooster will not crow this day until you deny me three times that you know me. And he said to them, when I sent you out with no money bag or knapsack or sandals, did you lack anything? They said nothing. He said to them, But now let the one who has a money bag take it, and likewise a knapsack, and let the one who has no sword sell his cloak and buy one. For I tell you that this scripture must be fulfilled in me. And he was numbered with the transgressors. transgressors. For what is written about me has its fulfillment. And they said, And they said, Look, Lord, here are two swords. And he said to them, It is enough. And he came out and went, as was his custom, to the Mount of Olives, and the disciples followed him. And when he came to the place, he said to them, Pray that you may not enter into temptation. And he withdrew from them about a stone's throw, and knelt down and prayed, saying, Father, if you are willing, remove this cup from me. Nevertheless, not my will, but yours be done. And there appeared to him an angel from heaven, strengthening him. And being in and being in an agony, he prayed more earnestly, and his sweat became like great drops of blood falling down to the ground. And when he rose from prayer, he came to the disciples and found them sleeping for sorrow. And he said to them, Why are you sleeping? Rise and pray that you may not enter into temptation. So that's our reading for today. Um, and so here at the very beginning, we have uh, the discussion of who is the greatest. And Jesus uh, says, let the greater become as the younger and the leader become as one who serves. And Jesus uh, says that he is the one who he is among them as the one who serves. Um, and then Jesus then goes into uh, foretelling of, Jesus, of Peter's denial. Um, and of course, Peter says, no, of course, I'm not going to deny you and uh, says that he'll follow Jesus to uh, prison and to death. But as we know in the story, Peter will deny uh, Jesus three times. And um, and then uh, the, all of these events are happening either during um, and following the Passover meal that Jesus had just shared with his dis disciples, as we discussed yesterday. Um, and then here following, Jesus and the disciples go out to pray on the Mount of Olives. Um, and he and Jesus prays that uh, God would remove the cup of what is about to happen with his betrayal, the trial and crucifixion. Um, but he also prays that the Father's will be done. Um, and when he comes back, he finds the disciples were sleeping instead of praying as he had instructed them to do. So as that was our reading our our hymn today is going to be hymn 663 rise my soul to watch and pray and uh we again are in the lutheran service book we're going to sing the first verse rise my soul to watch and pray from your sleep awaken be not by the evil day unawares or taken for the foe well we know is a harvest reaping while the saints are sleeping and we'll conclude with the lord's prayer our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven 
Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Well, thank you for joining me for today's daily devotion. Um, just a few announcements for this week. As I have mentioned uh, in yesterday's uh, devotion, we will not be having youth night tomorrow night, uh, but choir will still be meeting at its normal time. And Thursday, our grief share group will be uh, meeting at its normal time as well at 7 p.m. here in Nice Hall. Um, on Saturday, we do have um, our men's breakfast here at 8 a.m. So for, for the men, the pastor has a Bible study, and um, I believe you are to bring a, a dish as well to share. And then our Sprouts group uh, meets at 1 p.m. in the afternoon. And then again, if you are able to stay after the service on Sunday, uh, we would appreciate all the help we could get to uh, decorate for our VBS, which is next week, the 13th through the 16th. Um, so those are the announcements that I have for today, and I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your Tuesday.